You sure you're at the right party? This is a celebration for the Saints, is it not? Business with Marshall is less lucrative than it used to be. I was hoping your bosses would be interested in a new partnership. They're in there. I'd knock if I were you. Hello? It's Antonio Espina. <clears throat> Look, I, I know that we don't have the best history, but I was thinking, hoping, really, that we could work something out. Antonio, glad you came to your senses. Hey, I'm kind of having a party right now, but we'll talk business later. We got a party going on, so I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. Fuck the Panteros, fuck the Idols, fuck Marshall. The Saints are here to stay, baby. So if you know how to shoot a gun, or if you're broke and wanna learn how, swing by the church, we'll be waiting for you. Hello, and welcome to Marshall Defense Industries. We know it wasn't easy getting here. Your journey began with one of the most unforgiving job interviews we could devise. But you did more than just survive a few live fire exercises. You excelled, and in doing so, proved that you were Marshall material. But don't take my word for it. Hear it from the man himself. Hello, I'm Atticus Marshall and I wanted to personally welcome you to the Marshall family. Here at MDI, we don't just make a profit. We make the world a better place. So how do we do that? With a little TLC. Technologically advanced weapons, loose morals, and a culture of conflict. Now let's take a step through each of those letters. Why are you watching that now? It's the orientation video. I know what it is. Why are you watching it now? 
Well, I mean, we're about to be shot at, so I figured it couldn't hurt to brush up on our healthcare package. If you weren't paying attention to the briefing, I don't think you'll live long enough for your copay to matter. So I should be reviewing the life insurance policy. You know, our job interview has a 5% mortality rate. Statistically, the odds were low that you would die before we hired you, but I allowed myself to be an optimist. Your parents should have treated you better. Yours should have treated you worse. All right, ladies and gentlemen, contrary to your colleague's demeanor, this is no laughing matter. The Nawali already took out one team that was sent to bring him in, and I want as many of us going home as possible. So stick to the plan, work together, and let's grab that son of a bitch and send him to the frontier. Let's get paid. What does it take for a man to be able to enjoy a quiet drink these days? Mr. Nawali, you're coming with me. You really think you have what it takes to bring me in? I mean, yeah. Hey, where are you fucking going? I said you're coming with me. Perhaps I don't respect your authority. Then respect this. You set one foot on those stairs. Holy shit! No, you goddamn don't! We know he's in the saloon. He can't stay in there forever. What the fuck? Thanks for the ride. I'll see you around. We need air support, now! We don't got time for hero bullshit. Don't worry, I got this. When? We've got a problem. Hang on, the cavalry's coming. Than brains. You're goddamn right, I do. You're too predictable. Am I? Do that. Get your hands in the air. I got him. Well, you didn't die. All in all. Not a bad start. Jesus Christ! You're not gonna last. Your pep talks need some work. This is for you. Performance bonus. Is this a joke? 
You, uh, you ribbing the rookie? What were you expecting? There's supposed to be a bonus based on exceptional performance. That's right. And if you had performed exceptionally, you would have seen a bonus. Oh, come on. Can you really look me in the eyes and say I didn't do well? I can look you in the eyes and say you didn't do what you were told. I saw a better way and I took it. And if you were in charge, it would have been an inspired decision. But you're not. I am. This is a warning. Fall in line or find a new job. <sighs> oh, everything smells amazing, Kev. You know what would make it smell even better? Hey, man, if you want a $300 waffle maker, you can buy it with the exposure the idols pay you in. Don't expect us to chip in. I've told you before, the idols are trying to build a post-capitalist society where money is not a concept. Yeah? Then why don't you go run off and join the commune? I'm into showering. Are you gonna help me get the waffle maker or not? As an investor, I don't like wasting money. You're wearing a fucking bow tie. <sighs> okay, I will throw in 20 bucks for a waffle maker. Nina? Um, good for 10? Who helped you move your forged paintings last month? Fine, 15. What sort of waffle maker can I get for 35 bucks? Uh, presumably one that makes fucking waffles? Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> hey, the wage slave is back! How was your first day? Were the other mercenaries nice to you? You know, as far as hired killers go, I'd give him a seven. You look like you could use a mugmosa. Thanks, Eli. Seriously, how's the job? Eh, it's the murder business. The fundamentals don't change, just the uniform. I can tell you love it. <laughs> okay. I don't have to love it, I have to pay my student loans. Pfft, I'm in. So I'm guessing that means the pay's good. Hey, it's supposed to be. Got stiffed on my bonus today. Dude, what the fuck? Eh, played a little fast and loose on the job and, uh, well, my CEO wasn't a fan. You gotta be kidding me. Swear to God, this lady walked right off the set of an 80s action movie. I was half expecting her to call me Rook and threaten to take my badge. Are we gonna make rent? We'll make rent. We just gotta be a little more creative. Last time we got creative, I got stabbed three times. Hey, it would have been four times if Nina and I hadn't shown up. It would have been zero times if you were on time. This is true. Look, this is really not a big deal. We just knock off a payday loan place. No one gives a shit if people rob those bastards. You have a job now. You could actually just take the loan. Eli, I don't do business with morally bankrupt companies. You work for Marshall. Brunch is a time for friends and mimosas, not debates on morality. All right, all right. Man, this is really fucking good, Kev. Thanks. I was worried I added too much pepper. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. Mm. No, seriously, this is perfect. The only way this could be better is if you put on a fucking shirt. Dinner and a show, baby. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> be your own boss. That's right. Be your own boss. One of these days, I'm gonna get you to listen to music in the car. Roger McGillicuddy speaks the music of my soul. You are a different kind of cat, Eli. What can I say? The world is full of uninteresting people, and I'm not gonna be one of them. You got one of those for me? You really want one after last time? I am not the first person to accidentally shoot a friend by dropping a loaded... Yeah, okay, I don't need a gun. Good call. Showtime. So I made them watch while I broke their dad's... Ah, oh, shit. Walk away, or the phrase dead-end job gets literal. <gasps> I, I don't have much... We don't want your money, just his. Get out of here. You done fucked up. I've been getting that a lot lately. Where's the safe? If you're lucky, the cops will get to you before my people. <laughs> nice left. Been practicing. I can tell. Safe's back here. This guy had his password be a bunch of fives. Pick it up, Eli. I'm just saying, he could have at least made his work for it. Same plan as last time. Eli, Kev, pretend traffic laws matter and get the money home. Dean and I will split up and give the cops a run around. Cool, let me get the McGillic. No! Try to keep up this time. Yeah, yeah. See you at the switch.
Well, shit. Freeze! Down on the ground! You didn't want to risk your car. I said I didn't want to risk it for rent. I'd risk anything for you, dummies. So, is this how it's gonna be every time we have to pay rent? I thought that went great. Yeah, okay. Maybe I can go back to running my old side hustles for extra cash? Don't worry. We'll figure it out. This town is full of opportunities. If you know where to look. Where is everyone? I didn't need everyone. Just you. Because I'm the only one who can get it done. Sure, let's go with that. Sergio, huh? You're familiar with Panteros. I mean, my roommate's one of them, so yeah. Oh, don't give me that look. Rent's expensive. Is this gonna be a problem? I mean, per the roommate code, I'm gonna have to fold her laundry for two weeks, but beyond that, I'm golden. What are they moving? Antiquities, mostly. The Nawali was waiting to sync up with them before he was captured. You mean before we captured him? I'm pretty sure you were about to die when I came along and saved your ass. And yet, if I had installed him, he would have got away. So, you're welcome. Do you want it to look like an accident or a statement? What? Well, I'm assuming you want me to make the convoy disappear? No, I want you to follow it. So I can kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. So we know where they're going. Sure, and then I kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. No, then you will report back to me, I will arrive with the team, and you will go home and hit the showers before you have a chance to fuck it up. You think I can't do this? I think you like getting a paycheck. Follow the convoy. Don't fuck it up. Gwen, I followed the convoy. It, uh, it stopped. You did good. Holy shit, a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Stay here. Over here. Now! Gwen says you were responsible for retrieving the Hummingbird Codex. If that was something in the truck, then yes. Impressive work. 
I wouldn't have been able to do it without JR, sir. Team player. I like that. There's someone I'd like you to meet. This is Dr. Antonio Espina. He's the chief curator for the Museum of Santo Aliso. It's nice to meet you, sir. The retrieval of these relics is no small feat. The museum is in Marshall's debt. Just doing my job, sir. Antonio's museum has a contract with Marshall, and he requested you to be in charge of security. What? Gwen's filled me in on your eccentricities, but the results speak for themselves. Sir, it's my second day. Sounds like someone wants to talk themselves out of a promotion. No, no, I, I want the job. I'm just surprised. Things change fast here at Marshall. So, can Antonio and I count on you or not? Yes, sir. Santo Eliso. The idols have come to save you from yourselves. Make no mistake, we will take the photos. We will kill you all. We will bring the gift of anarchy to Santo Eliso. We are the idols. Fear us. You can come out, Miss Star. It's safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are really good at this. It's not my first time shooting up a place with a minigun, ma'am. Just the first time people are happy I did it. How the fuck did this happen? Shit. What's going on, sir? You. Sir, I know I made a little mess protecting the museum, but we have to look at the big picture. The threat's been neutralized, Miss Star is safe, and as you can see, the Codex is secure. A mess? Yes, there is a goddamn mess! I don't... I don't understand. Well, you were wasting time with her. The idol stole the Codex and replaced it with a fake! Sir, I wasn't wasting time, I was saving- Do you think I give a shit if Myra Star lives or dies? Atticus. You are replaceable. You are replaceable. That was not. Sir, I can lead a team to retrieve the Codex. The hell you can. You're fired. What? You're done. If I see you on Marshall property again, I'll have you shot. We'll make this right, Antonio. I promise. Thank you. I am sorry. I just got word that the idols are planning on attacking the museum. Welcome back to the Cutting Room, the premier auction experience for knife connoisseurs of all ages. Our first stop, Lung Piercer, a contemporary update on the classic Shiv. The Lung Piercer. Looks like we got a shopper in Santa Aliso that knows their stabbing implements. Let's bring out the next item. It's been a hell of a day here on the cutting room, but I've been saving the best for last. The Judas 3000. If Brutus had had one of these bad boys, he wouldn't have needed the Senate to help stab Caesar. How many knives did you end up buying? Not enough. Hey, Sergio just texted us. <laughs> he has to be pretty pissed. Yeah. Says he's planning on attacking the idols party. Man, I hate to be the idols right now. Everyone at that party is probably gonna get killed. Sucks to be Kevin Eli. Yeah. Oh shit! You gotta go! They're not coming, are they? They'll get over it, man. Don't worry about it. <sighs> They're totally pissed at me. They'll get over it. Give them time. You mind if I get a drink? You do you, man. Can I have a white wine spritzer?
Eli, are you okay? I, I, I don't think so. They're here. We're gonna get you out, but you'll have to walk. Oh. I'll try. Shit. Shit? Shit what? What now? Los Panteros should have left the party crashing to the experts. Like you're gonna back the fuck off. No, 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 no. They're cool, they're with me. If they're with you, then you get to kill them. at the hospital because you don't have insurance i don't really care you would if you saw what they charged to fix a flesh wound cab where's the hall closet Yo, top shelf okay this is gonna suck buddy oh fuck you're doing great you're being very brave fuck you hey keep talking to kev like that and you won't get a star on the star chart <laughs> ow oh, what are we gonna do finish sewing you up yeah and then what the idols and Panteros aren't exactly our number one fans right now. Isn't that obvious? We're starting a criminal empire. What? Your car was right, Eli. About everything. Yeah, what the fuck is happening? Guys, we're really good at what we do. So why are we doing it for other people and not ourselves? I mean, you know how to start a business. Kev knows how to get attention. <laughs> I'm a walking murder party. And Nina? Nina's the best goddamn driver in the business. Who could touch us? Hell, we just took on two crews at once and walked away just fine. I was shot. And you're getting a sticker, so quit bitching. I'm in. Fuck yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Eli? Guys, this is a little crazy. What happened to there being a difference between surviving and thriving? Well, I survived being shot, and now I want to thrive without being shot again. Nina's down. Kev's down. Snickerdoodle is definitely down. Oh, do not bring her into this. Eli, this cat suffers no fools, and neither should you. Uh. <laughs> is that a yes? Yeah, it's a yes. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I feel like there's a lot we're missing. There is, but it's enough to go on for now. What about criminals? Don't we kind of need more than three if we want to call this thing an empire? There's four of us. Oh, are you planning on shooting anyone? After that party, I think I'll stick to metaphorical blood on my hands. Yeah, that's less useful when people try to kill us. Nina's right. We need more people. We'll look more legit if we have a home base. Are you saying we're not legit already? Oh, I love you, but I'm allergic. <clears throat> yeah, point taken. All right, let's brainstorm. What would our place need? I gotta be able to host some parties and have more than a fucking galley kitchen to work with. I wanna be able to set up a proper garage to work in. I don't think Sergio's gonna be letting me near the forge anytime soon. That's good. What you got? I don't know, a ball pit? I'm joking. Kind of. I'm kind of joking. It needs to be defensible. We piss off a lot of people, and let's not kid ourselves, they're gonna try to kill us. You're fun. Hey, man. Just being real. For me, we need it to be cheap. We don't have a lot of cash, so we'll probably be looking at a fixer-upper. So, we need an open space for the interior, a decent plot of land to build a garage, it's gotta hold up in a firefight, and it's gotta be dirt cheap. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a bitch finding. I got it! Holy shit, we are so good at this. There's an old church. Near Fort Cullen. 
The sanctuary is huge. I can turn the rectory into a garage. It's condemned so it's cheap. And it's got a fucking graveyard so we can stash the bodies. You fucking rock. What are we waiting for? Let's check this place out. Yeah, okay. Dead bodies notwithstanding, this place is pretty great. Right? There's a lot of potential here. A lot of work to do, but still... We're actually gonna do this, aren't we? you goddamn right we are. Well, at least we've got a cool logo. I'll take it off the whiteboard. We need a name. The Saints. We call ourselves the Saints. Okay, so we got the name, we got the home base, we got the logo. So that means next step is to find people that can shoot guns? No. Uh, so that means next step is to make connections with people that can shoot guns. Oh, come on, man. We want this thing to be more than a street gang. We want to be an organization, an institution. And that means we need to have our fingers in more pies. You got an idea where to start? As a matter of fact, I do. Well, we count JR in. W uh, what is this? It's not board game night. No, this is where all our dreams come true. Don't say that. My dreams are pretty weird. While you were out talking to JR, I was going through the briefcase we got from John Bland, the real estate guy. Turns out the deeds of the church wasn't the only thing in there. As of now, we are the proud owners of a shit ton of empty lots all across town. That's real estate we can use to start up some new, um, entrepreneurial ventures. By which he means crimes. Fine, yes, crimes. Nice. You did say we need to have our fingers in more pies. I've got that covered. I spent the whole day baking my ass off. Okay, fine. They're empanadas. That's not a pie. It's in the pie family. Now I'm really hungry. Plan first, eat later. Right. So, how do we cover all this ground? One building at a time. So far, we've got the church. And Jim Robs. So what do we build next? Whatever we want. I drove that car all the way here from Guadalajara. My family's so far away, you know? It felt like I was keeping part of them with me. She never let anyone else drive that car. Who? My mom. But when Kimo made her weak, I drove her around. Ah, uh, fuck. I promised her I'd take care of that car. Ella confiaba en mí. Let's go. We can still catch up to him. Nah. If Sergio's gonna fuck with my family, I'm gonna fuck with his. Okay. Boot Hill is this live stream fight club kind of thing they do on the abandoned island out in the lake. This sick cat named Doc Ketchum runs the show. Fight club? More like murder service. We need to recruit more saints, right? Everyone in town with a criminal record watches this live stream. Oh, he's right. I've seen Pantero streaming it. I just didn't know what it was called. But it's crazy dangerous. 
It's viral marketing. Viral marketing is not supposed to come with a mortality rate. It's like breaking out in the art world. You gotta do something to capture people's attention. This does. Plus it nails our target demographic. I don't know. You're the one who have to do this. What do you think? So that's what being good at murder means. I know. Seeing it on the leaderboard really puts things in perspective. Should we be scared or reassured? Why not both? Eli, mute your fucking phone. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. These just keep coming in. Who are they from? People who are watching. They want to learn from the master. You know what that means. We got recruits? We got recruits. We got recruits! What the fuck are you doing, Nina? Esto es por ti, mamá. Where the fuck is Kevin? Yes, I'm on the can. So? Someone in here! Fuck off! I don't like it, Eli. Yeah, no doubt. This fucker's hogging all the sloths. I'm talking about what we're paying the crew. You mean what we're not paying the crew? Bullets and 401ks are expensive. There's a bunch of ways we can get some quick cash. Nina can boost some cars, I'll do hits, Kev can run a bake sale. I'm not sure that's gonna work. Look, man, I know I normally do savory, but I can bake the shit out of some macaron. Meerkat me. Look, if you want insured salary kill bots, we need to bring in a lot more cash. All right, so what? We rob a bank? No. We rob a train. I don't know where this is going, but it sounds like my kind of stupid. 
Okay, you know how banks have federal requirements for how much cash they need to keep on hand? No. Well, they do. And since the economy in Santo Ileso has skyrocketed, they have to keep bringing in more money to meet the minimums. Let me guess. They move it in by train. It's really more of a mobile fortress. Oh, good. How do you know so much about this? Sergio talked about wanting to hit it every time it rolled into town. But you guys never made a play for it? We never had enough hardware. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. The Forge. That's what they were gearing up for. Oh, so the impossible to rob train is going to be attacked by the Panteros as well. Cool. Look, I'm not saying it would be easy, but we have time to plan. Oh, and Kev, I'm taking your wallabies for the win. <laughs> uh, damn wallabies. Yes! Okay, so it's a tough job. Let's get some extra muscle. A top-tier murder machine to help me out. You have someone in mind? I do. Someone I met during my stint at Marshall. It'll be a tough sell, but I bet we can persuade him. Cool. Let's give him a call. Can't do that. Uh, why? He's being detained in a privately owned prison called the Frontier. You want to break out the Nawali, don't you? Assuming he hasn't been extrajudicially murdered by now, yes. What can go wrong? I mean, I could die. But let's be positive. Coming up on the frontier. Shit, that place is a fucking fortress. I'm gonna stay low to avoid detection. We're gonna have to find a way to do the same. You know, maybe actually be stealthy for once. Thanks for stopping. Figured you could use a good meal. <laughs> okay. Goose a little generous. All right, it's a lot generous. But I'm willing to bet it's better than what they serve you in the frontier. I appreciate it. And my freedom. Even if you're the one who put me there. Oh, shit. Is this gonna be a problem? I know what it feels like to be judged for following orders. Sounds like a hell of a story. It is. You wanna tell me? We're not friends. We could be. I should go. You need a ride? No, no. It would be nice to walk. But thank you for offering. Call me when you're ready to talk about the job. Sorry about not being able to connect the other day. A whole lot of people tried to kill me, so I had to, you know, murder the shit out of them, and, well, time got away from me. Eh, it happens. You meet the rest of the crew yet? No, I was waiting for you. Well, let's meet them. Hey, everyone, I'd like to introduce you to the Nahuali. He's here to make our train robbing dreams a reality. It's nice to meet you, sir. I'm Eli. I'm Kevin. Everyone calls me Kev. You're not wearing a shirt. Less shirt, more power. I'm not sure that's how it works. Yeah, don't try to figure it out. I'm Nina. It's nice to meet you. Yes, a pleasure. So, shall we plan the heist? No. I thought you called me here because you wanted to prepare for the robbery. Correct. So we are planning the heist? Mm, no. Okay, I must admit, I'm confused. What are we doing? Team building. What? Look, you don't know us, we don't know you, but we're putting our lives in each other's hands, so we need to be on the same page. Eli threw out the idea that we should spend the day doing some team building exercises. You know, so we can really get a sense of camaraderie. We have hats. I thought we agreed to use the fleur. This is better. I'm with Nina. I have so many questions. And that, my friend, is what team building is all about. <laughs> Come on. Hand to God. Even I think that's crazy. Hey, when you're dealing with the Aztec cartel, it's best not to ask why and just go with it. <laughs> it's getting late. I should probably get going. 
Thanks for dinner, Kev. It was great. Thanks, man. The marinade does all the work. You're too modest. Drive safe. Thank you. And please, make Kev wear a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Not gonna fucking happen. Let me walk you out. Look, I, I know we're kind of ridiculous, but when push comes to shove, there's no one I want more by my side than those guys. They're good people. They are. I, I guess what I'm saying is... I know you're looking at the heist as a one-and-done sort of thing. You know, a, a debt that you're paying off, but it doesn't have to be. I'll think about it. Please do. Right on time. So, how do you want to do this? I don't know. Drive to the train, figure out where they're keeping the dough, hop aboard, and then kill the shit out of anyone who gets between us and our money? Sounds good. Let's move. Uh, wait. Before we go? Oh, no, I, I have a couple on me already. <laughs> Before the whole Saints thing got started, I, I got depressed and ordered a whole lot of knives. I figure if this is our only run together, you should at least get a souvenir. It's beautiful. Thank you. Let's get that money. For once, things went as planned. Let's see how we did. That enough to cover the crew? You're goddamn right it is. <laughs> you might even have enough left over to buy some proper stemware. Then they wouldn't be mug mosas. Thanks for your help. Thanks for the knife. Think about what I said. <sighs> I will. And if you guys need anything, just call. He was a nice guy. Sad to see him go. He carved out Sergio's heart. Okay. He was an intense guy. Sad to see him go. Hey, we had a big win today. We should do something irresponsible to celebrate. What do you have in mind? Oh, I don't know. The money fight! <laughs> 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 Whoa, 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 slow down there, buddy. He okay. almost killed Kev. I was in the moment! <laughs> you dumb son of a bitch. I am so sorry, Kevin. Buy me a stand mixer and all is forgiven. Deal. Fort Thunderpump has fallen! The siege is over! Surrender your crown, Dust King! No way! You failed to do the required damage in the allotted time! Oh, damn it, Carl, you know I did more than enough damage. Do I need to get a rules check? The 
power rod. Ha! They're your problem now, Gwendolyn Firebird! Oh, gods damn it. Armies of the Phoenix, about face! Smite that hell beast and their sandworm too! Woo! Yeah! Riches, power, just name your price. I come for your crown. You? A min-maxing knave? Never! The king is dead. Long live me. Move. So, are you gonna buy anything? One chocolate milk and a packet of beef jerky. Okay. We got the name, we got the space, we got the logo, we got the employees. And we got the fucking money. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Which means there's one thing left to do. How do we make a statement? Well, um, we just robbed a money train and killed Sergio in a particularly horrific fashion. Oh, so you ripped out Sergio's heart. I was there for moral support. It doesn't matter. Because word on the street is that the Nawali was a one-man wrecking crew. The Saints didn't get any shine from the heist. So, we're gonna need something that establishes us as an institution. All right, so we need to do something that says, we're not going anywhere, come at us. Exactly. We steal the Hummingbird Codex. Marshall wanted to protect it. Panteros and the Idols wanted to steal it. And if it wasn't for that fucking book, we wouldn't have formed the Saints. It should be ours. I like it. How do we do it? I mean, I figured we'd just go in with a bunch of guns and kill the shit out of everybody. But if we want to do some heist movie stuff, I can work with that. Yeah, that's cool. Does work. Sounds good. The Saints aren't a flash in the pan. We're here to stay. The four of us founded the Saints, but it belongs to all of us. It belongs to anyone who dreams of making something of themselves and are fucking tired of the world trying to hold them back. Life is hard enough without having to deal with middle managers with no discernible talent telling you how to do your job without having to deal with assholes who have had every opportunity handed to them but never had to fucking work for a single one of them. Without being told that your time will come, you just have to wait. Be patient. Well, let me tell you something. We're fucking done waiting. We all did the work. Now it's time for us to reap the benefits. Kev, I think it's time you throw us a hell of a party. Do you think we have enough crate paper? Come again? Crate paper. Do we have enough? <clears throat> it's crepe paper. 
with a P. Really? Yeah, really. Sorry, folks. Party's over. Who the fuck are you? Chet Drummond, Marshal General Counsel. The Saints are now a wholly owned subsidiary of Marshal Defense Industries. Ha! <laughs> Uh, no. The employment agreement you signed when we hired you contained a non-compete clause. I signed a lot of shit. I didn't actually read it. Not our problem. By attacking Marshall interests, to wit, the Frontier Prison, our cargo train, and various other assets, you became a competitor. So, what's your fucking point? Pursuant to Article 9, Section 12, Paragraph 36A, you have surrendered all rights and ownership of the Saints to us. Eli? Oh my god, he's right. Of course I'm right. I wrote the fine print myself. You are aware that didn't solve the issue, right? Yeah, but he was being a dick. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Wait, my Star? Didn't take you long to get up here. You are a plucky one. Where's Atticus? Oh, he turned tail and flew away the second you entered the lobby. I told him this whole Saints business would bite us in the ass, but he never listens. Then give us back the Saints. As chair of the board, I could. Only problem is Atticus holds that title. That man has been a bee in my bonnet for a long time. How about we help each other out? Fine. Tell me where he is and I'll kill him. Now, not so fast. You kill Atticus and his seat on the board will pass to his next of kin, who won't help you. Then I'll kill them too. And then their kin, and then theirs. The Marshall family is large and ornery. They'll never help you. But you help me vote him off the board and I'll scratch your back real good. So, how do we do that? If you make Atticus look bad enough, our company's stock price will tank. Shareholders will panic, and the board will have no choice but to change leadership. That's when I'll take over and give the Saints back to you. All right, you got yourself a deal. What the hell do you think you're doing? You're just in time for the vote. You think you could fire me? My family built this business! My name is on the goddamn building! Our stock price is rock bottom, and our shareholders want your head. It's the Saints! They exposed the frontier. They robbed my train. They ruined my good name! We've done the risk assessment, and you are a liability. Bullshit! This company's nothing without me! The motion is to terminate Atticus Marshall and appoint me chair of the board. All in favor? All opposed? You have a tie. Now what are you gonna do? Let's ask the tiebreaker. Looks like you're all out of lawyers. You held up your end of the deal. And now, so have I. The Saints are all yours. Thanks. We made a good team. Don't go mistaking us for friends. This was business. You interfere with Marshall again, and you'll get the horns. You sure you're at the right party? This is a celebration for the Saints. Is it not? We had a party going on, so I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. Fuck the Panteros, fuck the Idols, fuck Marshall. The Saints are here to stay, baby. We built this together. Thanks for getting shot, Eli. Should we go in? You guys go. I just want to take a minute out here. Heard there's a party. <laughs> hey. <laughs> It's good to see you, man. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. About the Saints. I've been alone for a long time. I always viewed friends as a liability, a weakness. But I was wrong. 
Seeing you with Kev, Nina, Eli, they really make you stronger. Yeah, they really do. I want to know what that feels like. <sighs> well, let's... <gasps> Why? Well, because I cannot live your life if you are still breathing. Look, you have a lot of heart, but let's face it, I'm just a, a better version of you. You could not even protect yourself. How would you ever protect your friends if someone like me came along, huh? This is for the best. Do not worry. I'll keep our friends safe. What? Why can't I move? Because you can't do anything right. You ruin everything. That's why you needed me. Now you're dead, and everything you built is mine. Your friends are mine, your empire is mine. The saints are all mine. Like hell they are. Everything smells amazing, Kev. Uh, you know what would make it smell even better? Let me guess. Pancakes. You know it. <coughs> hey, look who's home. How was your day? <sighs> Not bad. I got some blood on my favorite shirt. <coughs> Sounds like you could use some champagne. Hmm. Thanks, Eli. Please, sit. So, what did you all do today? You know what we did. You're upset. You think? I do not like to see you upset. Well, maybe you should have thought of that before- Nina, please! We'll discuss your gratitude later. Hello. Where are they? They're safe. I am coming for you, motherfucker. Good. It'll save me some time. I'm sorry. That threw me off. Uh, okay. <clears throat> we'll try this again with a little more energy. And Kev, be sure to have some club soda ready, eh? I don't want this stain to set. Everything smells amazing, Kev. You gonna come out and face me? Or do I gotta come to you like last time? See you soon. All right, here's the deal. You motherfuckers know where your boss is keeping my friends. So how about you just tell me, and then I can be on my way. Any takers? I know it's not likely, but, you know, I figure I should do due diligence. It's really in your best interest. I, I only need one of you alive to tell me what I need to know, and the odds of it being you is pretty... <sighs> you know what? Fuck it. I tried. Dude, 
I've had a long fucking day. Can we... Uh, can we please be reasonable people? I can. You're gonna say you can't tell me because the Nawali will kill you, then I'll say... If you don't tell me, I'll kill you, and we're just gonna be right back to where we started, so let's just skip that part. No, I was gonna say I can put the address in your phone. Oh. Uh, yeah, no. <clears throat> That'd be super helpful. You mind unlocking it? Whoops, sorry about that. Um... You're a fucking maniac. Well, you know, I have a lot of practice and pent-up rage. I hear that. Parents? Alimony. Ah. Anyway, secret bunker address is in there. Thanks, man. I'm George, by the way. You're an all right guy, George. When you wake up, you should stop by the church. The saints could use a guy with some common sense. Oh! Now, let's see if my biometrics still work on this veto. How long are we gonna play house for this nut job? Hey, look, as long as he's happy, we're not dead. We just need to figure out a way to escape. Maybe I could poison his food? He makes you eat whatever you cook for him. I can take one for the team. Don't be crazy. What if we try? Holy shit, are we mic'd? No. This is something else. I want them secured. What's going on? It's for your own safety. It's our roommate, isn't it? They're here to save. Uh, uh, save you? Is that what you... Eli, I'm sorry I hit you. There's a lot going on right now, and I got upset. Everything's going to be fine. Don't worry, guys. I'm coming. Do not worry, my friends. Things are going back to the way they were. You guys okay? We're fine. Why is kept wearing a shirt? Oh, it's a lot. Look out! <laughs> Don't you see? You were never meant to protect them! You don't get it. You don't need my help. I need theirs. Fuck now, buddy. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> you 
You ruined everything. You guys should come up here. It's a hell of a view. Mortal terror aside, today was a good day. Yes, sir, it was. I'm really sorry, guys. About what? You saved our ass. It was also my idea to get the Nawali's help in the first place. No one could have predicted that much crazy. Bad hires happen. It's okay. No. If anything happened to you guys, I... Hey, we love you. <sighs> I love you guys, too. That's because we're fucking awesome. Here, here. You know, the Saints have only been around for like a minute, and we've already gained and defeated a nemesis. Not a bad start. No. Not bad at all. <laughs>